behind the music is my search for inner peace, traveling, and love. Welcome to the Wildcat Diaries. I forgot what I was going to say. My bad. So, Katama is actually an Airbnb that I am staying at currently at Treasure Beach. Um, as some of you may know, I'm currently in Jamaica staying here for, you know, for the time being. I live in the country, which is Clarendon, but right now we are on the coast. And I thought this was a very lovely and aesthetically um, pleasing Airbnb and space. So I thought, why not share it with the people, especially because Treasure Beach is not really on the map when it comes to the littiness of Jamaica. So I want to show y'all you know all parts and my experiences so i've had a pretty good experience so far so with that being said enough talking let's get to the tour as you can see it's very 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 naturey very romantic you come here you're like in the middle of katama and you know you see the kitchen which is over there on that side and you see the lounge area and there are more rooms over there so first we're gonna go on this side and show you all the rooms the names of all the rooms yeah so let's explore a little bit come on let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go In this area and hallway um, is where uh, most of the rooms are. Um, we have a bookshelf right here, which I think is pretty cool. One thing I like about um, Katama is also just like the Zen kind of theme. So we have the Buddha statue. We have a lot of books that, you know, very spiritual books. Um, they also have um a guy here that does yoga which is pretty cool as well he does private yogas um and over here we have the hammocks and we have little swings and seats and another thing i love i love about katama is all the vintage pieces so right here we have like a chest which is pretty cool as well as seats like everywhere you go you'll see that there's like a lot of places to sit and just chill which i love like you don't have to just go around and see like oh where should i where should i sit you know it's kind of like given so i really 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 love it especially this hammock um but you know it's a really nice place to just come chill um meditate and just listen to the ocean and the vibes so yeah pretty cool um, we're gonna go check out two of Katama's really beautiful rooms and let me say I'm not just saying this like I'm actually doing this video because I love the space and I wanted to share it with y'all yeah I'm not doing this because it's sponsored or anything I really wanted to share the vibes with y'all so as you come closer there's the kitchen and right here will be our way to Amina room. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. I love it. I love the hammock. And from over here, you can see the ocean view. You can hear the ocean view, which is very, very therapeutic. I love hearing the ocean view. I just love water in general. So we're going to the Amina room. As you come on this side, we have some sitting area right here as well. We have actually let me show you the most exciting part about this place we have another hammock right here which is pretty cool come on come on we have a backyard with an outside shower now that is pretty cool so let's go check it out huh that's what i said as you come closer uh this room is very peaceful very beautiful wow okay so 
right here's the bed okay i don't want to lay on there because i don't know who coming okay but over here we have the toilet and we have the sink one thing i love uh, that i've seen that is also part of the theme of katama is like their sinks it's very very like vintage like i said they have a very cool vintage feel and zen type of feel that i really love and all their sinks are in a bowl and it's kind of like different types of designs and bowl which i really love i actually love this room it's it's it feels better than the the room we're in and this one has a kitchen you'll see it has a mini fridge all the rooms have mini fridge and as well as a well not all the room have like kitchen sinks but all the room have mini fridge and some of the rooms have ac and they just um added that feature i don't see an ac in here there's an ac but there are two fans and this room is right by the ocean so i don't see how you would need an ac anyway so but right here is the best feature i swear i swear i swear this is like a whole shower like i'm so tempted to to like i'm so tempted <laughs> i wasn't expecting that but it's pretty cool Woo! Ah, Katama. I, I keep saying Katama. It's not Katama, it's Katama, okay? Don't come for me, y'all. Okay. So I really love this feature, which is an outside shower. It's lovely. I love it. Let's go check out the other room. While you're here in Katama, you can rent out a bike and go check out the community that's one cool thing about katama as well that i love um it doesn't have a restaurant but it does have local businesses and restaurants that you could go out and explore and it really feels like a co-op right ugo it feels like a co-op to me um which is cool because it, it gives you that community feel um so you could go out and explore you know regularly when you get an airbnb you're kind of like stuck in the room or even if you come to jamaica and you do all inclusive you're not really getting an authentic feel which is something that i do get from katama so yeah if you find yourself here you could rent a bike and get it on right here is our next room and this room is called maya <laughs> So honestly, I think Katama will be a perfect fit for like a honeymoon or a couple's vacation or something because the rooms are really made for two and it, it gives you, like I said earlier, a romantic vibe. I don't want to repeat myself too much, but it definitely gives me a romantic vibe. This room has an AC and a fan and it's right by the coast and the shore. As you can see, it's a very nice view. I don't know why we didn't get this room, Ugo. So right now, we're coming to the end of our tour. We have the sit-in area right here. So it's pretty cool. Um, I, I don't know how many times I, I said cool. Like, I need y'all to comment. How many times did I say cool? I need y'all to comment because <laughs> it's mad funny. Um, but yeah, right here is like the seating area, you know, lounge, chill, look at the views, listen to the waves. And right here is more sitting areas. Remember I was telling you earlier, Katama has a lot of places that you could just sit and chill and vibe. And it still feels very intimate and exclusive to you. Um, yeah, so right here, they have a yoga retreat. And you come in here is the kitchen area. So when you're in Katama, you get your tea and your little coffee um, for free. But all the beverages, you, it's basically, like I said earlier, like a co-op. So you get something from here, you go up and write your name and whatever it is that you bought and make sure that you're keeping track right here. And you could pay later. They have a stove, 
they have utensils so if you are ever in katama you can literally have some snacks some food that you you know you could cook up yourself or they do have hookups to restaurants to restaurants that you could call up for delivery so well cats that was a long tour um with that being said thank you so much i'm wondering should we take them up there so okay i lied so the last place that i want to show you is um the upstairs i love this area because you know i'm a i'm an exclusive girl i'm not gonna lie i love having a private area and space to just lounge and chill and just you know what i'm saying it's like a paradise come up here it's like a paradise you're looking at the view this is what katama has to offer let me remind you where we at okay we in jamaica where you at you wait where you at okay you need to get your ass here it is a growing area the owners of katama were telling me that they've been here for 10 years and when they first got here it wasn't as established as it as it is now and it kind of went through the phase you know the stages of like being a very secluded place that nobody really wanted to come you know because really when you think of jamaica you're like ocho rios montego bay kingston like you don't really think about saint elizabeth like i'm like what, what where is that <laughs> like you know um so it's pretty cool that um i was able to experience this and to kind of like really really see the other areas because i think um for me i value authenticity and i don't really want what everybody else can get okay maybe i'm being elitist a little bit ugo <laughs> am i maybe i am but i don't want what everybody else can get i want the special experience and treasure beach went through the phases of you know not being very known to like being exclusive to only like rich jamaicans and then the white people and the white rich white europeans caught along and now jamaicans and local jamaicans can actually come and enjoy the area two days ago i met a local um real estate agent here and I was working out with him on the beach and it was pretty cool um, and we talked a lot and I got to you know know a lot about even Jamaica Jamaican history and just like a lot you know we just were vibing so I say all that to say that um, don't count a place out just because it's not like the it thing or it's not popping and it's not popular you know just because something is popular doesn't mean that it can't give you a really rich experience so um that was the purpose of me sharing this video and sharing this space i really want y'all um to be you know i want y'all to feel like you're on this journey like you're here with me right now you know i hope this video gave you a little insight on what you can find at treasure beach well maybe you might consider coming to katama i had a really good experience i love the space um it gives me a very peaceful and zen feeling and as you can see it is very peaceful and zen you see people doing yoga and working out down there um you see the dogs the dogs are pretty cool um you know <laughs> the dogs are pretty friendly and nice and they just you know they're just around so yeah I, i'm done talking y'all i'm done talking because you know me i'm gonna be like waka, 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 waka. <laughs> anyway took a lord lord make sure you press that subscribe button and that notification bell like what are you doing i see you i see you clicking out of the video why 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 support your girl okay support your girl all right press the notification button it's your girl laura laura press the like and also comment what did you like the most about katama and the space is it just me okay let me know is it just me am i delusional i hope not um so yeah peace and love until next time Bye bye to the ocean <laughs>